do you replace worn brake pads with a low metallic, semi-metallic, or a ceramic pad? What makes ceramic a better option for noise reduction than a semi-metallic pad? We want to help you confidently answer these questions and more so that your customers know that they can come to you for dependable advice and a premium brake job. To get you there, let's talk through the types of friction formulas that exist. There are five types on the market today. Low metallic, which is often called low met, non-asbestos organic, or NAO for short, ceramic, which is actually a type of NAO, but we'll get into those details a bit later, semi-metallic, nicknamed semi-met, and lastly, sintered metallic friction. Okay, so now that you know the friction types, let's focus on the two that are most often used in today's vehicles, ceramic and semi-met. First, let's talk about ceramic pads. Now earlier, I mentioned that ceramic pads are really part of the NAO family. Let me explain. The inside of a NAO pad has varying combinations of synthetic glass fibers, aramid fibers, and natural organic fibers. Then, organic and inorganic modifiers are added to improve braking performance. Ceramic pads are made with organic ingredients similar to NAO pads, but they generally have a higher percentage of ceramic ingredients. These pads also include brass and copper in their makeup, but the environmental challenge for all friction suppliers is to reduce and eventually phase out the use of all copper content within friction materials. Ceramic pads are a better alternative to NAO pads, which do not have the composition needed to transfer heat and perform well in high or low temperatures or stop and go city driving. Ceramics are also known for delivering virtually noise-free and dust-free low wear braking performance. As rotors and calipers evolved into their current smaller, lighter versions, friction materials were challenged to do the noise suppression work. That's why Honeywell Friction Materials and other friction brands began using higher ceramic content in their formulas for better noise control. Other added benefits with ceramic pads are dust reduction, the ability to work well immediately, reducing break-in time. Noise reduction, less dust, and reduced break-in are all reasons why brake pads containing ceramic friction materials are now standard equipment on about 85% of vehicles on the road. Ceramic pads are, in many cases, considered more premium and therefore typically command a higher price than other types of friction. However, it's not unheard of to see lower priced ceramic pads. Just beware. Some brands call their pads ceramic even if they have an extremely low ceramic content. Our engineers are committed to offering quality ceramic pads. Bendix CQ pads, for example, are our most widely used ceramic pads and features 100% attached shims and chamfers to maximize noise reduction and premium ceramic formulation for quieter braking with less dust. In fact, Bendix CQ is proven to produce less noise and dust than a traditional semi-met product, which we'll talk about in more detail shortly. Less dust, quieter braking. Those are perfect brake attributes for your customer with a family that needs to get from point A to point B without compromising a clean and quiet drive. Bendix CQ pads are packaged especially for your convenience. All the necessary attachment hardware is included inside each box. We also offer the platinum level Bendix CT3 ceramic pads for short stopping distances, low rotor wear, and cleaner wheels. These pads help car enthusiasts keep their custom rims clean because it significantly minimizes dust. So now that we know which type of consumers own ceramic pads, let's look at why other types of pads might be better suited for some customers driving styles. Customers with fleet vehicles or those who use their truck to haul or tow loads will not experience great stopping power or longevity with ceramic friction. These pads just don't wear well in heavy duty use. Speaking of heavy duty, let's discuss the hardest working friction used on the road today, semi-metallic. These workhorse pads are the go-to for towing heavy loads and heavy driving. Why is that, you may ask? Longevity and durability. Even under extreme conditions, these pads can last up to 40,000 miles. Beyond that, these pads have built a solid reputation for having an excellent pedal feel and trouble-free stopping performance. Let's talk about the makeup of a semi-metallic pad. Semi-mets contain more than 50% iron and steel by weight, 
and also have high levels of graphite combined with petroleum coke. The benefit of those combined materials is performance. Semi-mets promote heat transfer and will keep rotors cooler. Unlike organic pads, these metal-based pads will give your customers excellent friction and wear properties at extremely high temperatures. So why wouldn't you use semi-mets on all of your customers' vehicles then? Because the type of pad they really need depends on their driving style. Semi-mets tend to be noisier than other pads and can also generate a dark colored dust. No matter how well the brakes work, the customer who is concerned with aesthetics would prefer a brake with less noise and dust, like Bendix CQ. Here's how you identify a semi-met customer. He or she may mention that they serve as the family's shuttle service. They use their truck for hauling or towing or do lots of heavy stop and go driving. Or this vehicle is part of a fleet of service vehicles like taxis or postal trucks. Simply put, semi-mets offer durability and low maintenance cost. These pads work well for your cost conscious customer who just wants strong brakes and they don't mind a little noise or dust. It's easy to spot a semi-met pad within Bendix product offerings. Our part numbers that are semi-metallic always begin with the letters M, K, D. Other semi-met pad brands add alphabetical codes to the part number to help you identify the pad type as well. It's also pretty easy to figure out which Bendix semi-met pad may best meet your customer's needs. A busy mom or dad or young executive customer would be a good match for Titanium Metallic 2 because the brake execution is smooth, confident, and developed to be quieter than most semi-mets a perfect combination for stop and go traffic and road trips. Titanium Metallic 2's quiet strength is in the 100% attached shims and chamfers. Additionally, our patented technology helps cut down on the time needed for the break-in process. How do we do it? Titanium Metallic 2 has a unique titanium-based coating that facilitates excellent initial friction performance. Fleet Metlock is built tough for commercial use or driving under extreme conditions. Each set of Metlock brakes includes a robust mechanical attachment, severe duty formulations, and premium shims. Emergency vehicle fleet managers have appreciated the engineering we put into powering this pad with outstanding high temperature stopping power. Also, these pads reduce vehicle downtime and have a low cost per mile operation. Be sure to ask your customer a few key questions to find out which semi-met or other pad type is best for them. You may even want to use our Bendix sales kit to walk them through the process. You should be able to guide your customers to a great ceramic or semi-met pad that suits their driving style and offers the performance they are looking for. However, we do want to touch on two more uncommon brake pads, low met and censored metallic. Does your customer drive an expensive European vehicle? you may want to check and see if low met friction pads were used because these are commonly found on premium European vehicles where higher performance is the goal. Low met friction typically contains just 20% iron or steel and uses organic and inorganic fibers as found in NAO and ceramic pads. And unlike its relative semi-met, low met pads contain a complex mixture of lubricants instead of graphite. The combination results in higher performance, but the sacrifice is more noise and dust. Low met pads typically have more noise and dust than both ceramics and semi-mets. The final friction type is most unlikely to be a part of your standard inventory list, unless you have customers with airplanes or trains. Sintered metallic friction is traditionally for off-road use. These pads are made using specialized powder metal technology which provides high performance under extreme operating conditions. No matter the pad that you are considering for your customer, feel free to do a gut check by taking a look at their existing friction type. Automakers spend a considerable amount of time evaluating friction decisions and in installing the pad that should work best for the car type and the projected use of their driver. However, drivers do buy cars with one intention, but use them for another. So it's always best to get to know your customer before installing new brakes. Here are a few quick notes that may help you finalize your friction recommendation. One, always ask how your customers use their vehicles. Two, know what equipment was factory installed as the vehicle's original equipment. And three, it's usually okay to replace ceramic pads with semi-mets. Honeywell Friction Materials was recognized for product innovation excellence 
for its inventive and helpful hardware in the box product bundling and packaging for premium friction line products. Once you buy the Bendix hardware box, you'll have everything that you need to complete the braking job. Clips, noise insulators, wire sensors, and abutment kits. Including hardware in the box makes installation easier and more efficient than ever. With all hardware packaged for you, you can just roll up your sleeves and do the best brake job possible. So tell me, do you think you know what makes NAO different from ceramic? Let's do a quick check to see how well you know the friction types. First off, what's the most common friction material used on 85% of vehicles today? Is it A, ceramic, B, semi-metallic, or C, low metallic? The answer is ceramic. Second, which friction is often found on imports and is associated with more noise and dust? A, semi-metallic, B, ceramic, or C? Low metallic. The answer, low met. Which type of friction is found on emergency vehicles? Is it A, sintered, B, ceramic, or C, semi-metallic? The answer, semi-metallic. Which Bendix pad is built tough for commercial use or driving under extreme conditions? A, Bendix titanium metallic, B, Bendix CT3, or C, Bendix Fleet Metlock? The answer is, of course, Bendix Fleet Metlock. Let's move on to the next section, where we'll learn more about choosing the right friction for each customer that walks through your door.